Right then, we are back with more of our Prison Architect series. As you can see, this area is now set up. Just what we need to do is put some more benches in. So we are just going to clone this section here that we've already built. And we're just going to throw some more. We're going to give them a little bit of space between each one because we don't want fights to break out because people are too close together. Which is always a problem on this game for me. So we're just going to run benches the whole way along this room. And this should be enough and a big enough space for all the prisons we have on this side. We're also going to have another canteen on the other side. Um, but we're also going to have more cells on the other side. So I'm thinking that they'll probably use whichever one is closest to them. There we go. That's all the benches in place. So, we'll get that built. One thing we want to do as well, this video is set up our protective custody area. So one thing I'm going to do is just run a... How are we going to play this? I mean, we could probably just play it like this. And this, and then like this. Oh, no. And let's just do it the way I was going to do it before. Uh, let's run it all the way down to the edge here, and then all the way down to the edge here. Of course, we're going to need to build this uh, building as well, so let's get um, the basic brick foundation built for continuing the walkway down. If you just do it for the whole, let's just do it for the whole line here, because that's just going to make more sense, just to get it all sorted. And that should get all that up and running then. So inside protective custody, that's going to be the question. Now, how do we want to play this? We'll have cells up here, then there's stuff down here. That probably does make sense, to be honest. So we could have... What we got? So probably a cell block. We'll just have a cell block this whole sort of length, I suppose. Um, like this. Because then the pathway, if we ignore this, the pathway is going to come uh, all the way along here. To the back. There we go. So then we can build. Um, how do we want to do it with protective custody? Do we want them to have. We probably want them to have their own showers in their cells. So probably their cells need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm thinking. Do they need to be a little bit bigger? So they have shower, toilet. Put the bed there. Um, I'll put the bed here. I'll have shower, toilet. Oh no, they don't need to be any bigger then. So we'll just have normal sized. Cells, I suppose, can't they? Yeah, normal size cells will do. How many can we fit into this building? That's the question. If it fits perfectly, it's going to be absolutely amazing. If it doesn't, then we'll have to deal with that, I suppose. Um, so all the way down here. For protective custody. Now, protective custody is going to be a lot smaller. There's not going to be as many prisoners that come in for it. So we don't have to worry too much. Okay, so it's going to be... Maybe I could get away with that. And then I can have these bottom ones as solitary. And we'll do one of the solitary elsewhere. I might just have this just open, maybe. And then we'll have another set of cells up here. So it'd be uh, like this, and then obviously like that. So that'll be up there. Is that right? Yeah, it's 3 by 2 isn't it? And then another 3 by 2 it's 2 space. And then obviously 3 by 2 again. These cells just look bigger than normal. I don't know why. They just look bigger than when I normally do them, but that is right, isn't it? Um, so we'll have that up there. I mean, if I did it one... If I did, I could do the block one shorter. And then we could fit an even amount of cells in there, like that. If I did that. But it's going to mean the walkway is going to be a little bit... I don't know, we could do it that way, actually. It's not a problem, is it? So we do it like that. Okay. And another two space. Because we're just trying to think of where we're going to put the... Um, where we're going to put the, the solitary in that as well. Because that's an important thing. You need solitary. So we'll have to do that for Minsec as well before we accept any Minsec prisoners in. I think it might be a while before... Not, not a while. It might be another episode or so before we can accept anybody in. Uh, hopefully by the end of this one though we should have protective custody and Minsec pretty much almost ready to go. And once those two things are ready to go then we are ready to take in our intake. 
I mean, if we could fit perfectly all the cells near that'd be great. Now, I normally make the um, solitary cells quite big, but I feel like I want to actually make it like a punishment. I normally make them bigger and I put a shower and a toilet and everything in that one room. But I feel like that just sort of takes away from the point of being punished. I mean, if you're going to go to a bigger room with more amenities, it just doesn't seem like much of a punishment, does it? Um, and then a final two. Okay, so that would be that then. So those would be cells then, I suppose. And this... I mean, that's not going to fit perfectly, is it? No, okay. And this then would be our area for... Well, we put this across here. This can be utilities here. And then we can do our solitary. Which could literally just be three out of a bed. Or it could just be two. And not even have a bed. Um, how do we want to do this? I mean, do we want to give them what they need or do we want to punish them? Possibly, well, punishment is what we want to give them, don't get me wrong. But if they get locked in there with no amenities, then all of a sudden they come out and all their needs are high. I think we're going to have to give them some decent stuff, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to give them some decent stuff. Otherwise, they're just going to come out and cause more trouble. And that's just going to cause us more problems. And that does fit perfectly, so why not? There we go. Okay, so that would be Protective Custody's cell block. Then over here, we might as well just make one big building, I suppose. And maybe just leave the little bit here that we can have as a yard. Okay. So then we'd have... Obviously, that, need, mm, that needs to connect to there, doesn't it? So this is going to be... That's going to be one back. That's fine. We can, we can figure that when it comes to the... When it comes to placing the buildings down in a minute. Um, obviously, it needs to connect up to... The walkway, that's the point of the walkway. And then this as well is going to connect to the walkway as well. So again, we'll have at the back here the kitchen. Uh, then we'll have the yeah, big old canteen here. Then we can have along here maybe visitation. And so I have one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is a parole room. I don't think we're going to need that many parole rooms up here, to be honest. Maybe just two. Two parole rooms. But then we'll also have two um, offices for the psychiatrist, whatever his name is. Or the, um, the guy who can help them with anger issues. So we'll do that as well. This then can be a big visitation area. And then in here, we can have, I don't know, we'll have a one room down here maybe, or a couple of rooms down here doing something. And then one, two, three. Maybe we can have something there, or maybe we can have another three wide walkway down the bottom, and this can be split in half. And like that. That sort of works. I mean, it's not completely even, don't get me wrong, but it does sort of work. Okay, that seems fine to me. Let's get the um, let's get the protective custody area built up because we need that sorted before we can take any Minsec prisoners in uh, and there as well. Uh, this needs an entrance, I believe, so we're going to give it a staff door into there. So this be a little um, little area where it sort of stops people walking through if they shouldn't be walking through. And then also, oh, we'll, we'll wait until that's built first, I think. There we go. So that too will be sorted. And they should get work on that pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, we can do an entrance down here, can't we, for this block, which is going to be this large jail door. Like that, okay. And then we can do the entrance in here. It can just be this visitor's door, okay. Okay, so that's that sorted. We've got ourselves a big area here for these guys. So now we need to just start putting some of these rooms together. So I think, first of all, we can just do a cleaning cupboard. Uh, we'll just have a small sliver of cleaning cupboard. We don't need anything massive. And again, that needs a staff door in the back and a normal door in the front. And um, we also need a laundry room, mail room, all that other good stuff. So I think we're going to have some pretty big buildings in here. Let's have a big shop. Um, actually, let's have the shop in the middle. So this is the middle here. More, oh, it's not necessarily the middle, is it? But um, let's have this as like a big shop. So this could all be a big shop. We're gonna have a big. We need a laundry room. Maybe we'll have another cleaning cupboard. 
Another big room here. And I'm just making this up as I go along. Hopefully that's going to be enough rooms. Um, we've got a lot of the main stuff down here, so that should hopefully be enough. And again, we want a staff door in the back of each for deliveries and everything like that. And then we want um, a normal door in the front for the prisoners to be able to enter through. So that is the hope that staff will use these back doors to make deliveries and that. And then they're not going to have any danger with the actual prisoners. That's the idea. Because I have had many staff members killed by prisoners, which is not always ideal. Okay, so we'll get all that all built up as well. I suppose we can just plan the rooms out now, can't we? Because um, while they're doing that. So we know we want... Okay, so we know we want to build some more offices because we haven't got some of the rooms available yet. So let's get that sorted. So we know we want a brick wall there. We'll bring the rest of this round to here. And we'll build all the way down here. We're just going to finish off this sort of area, make it look neat and tidy as well. We're not going to build any of the medium security stuff yet. That'll be next episode, I think. And then this will come across here as well. We're going to have a large jail door that's going to head up that way. We're going to have three staff doors here. And we're going to have a brick wall. So we need the foreman to get ourselves cleaning cupboard and laundry, I believe. There we go, like that. Okay, and then we might as well just finish off this as well. So garbage, exports and storage. So we get all that built up as well. There we go. So staff door on here. Then we're going to want a normal door on here. And a normal door on here. And we're going to want a large jail door here, a large jail door here, a large jail door here. There we go. That's fine then. So we'll get those things built up. Do we have any of the rooms that I can build now though? And um, what do we have? Um, no. Solitary is something I have not done yet as well, isn't it? Um, so we need a solitary area. I forgot about that. Um, hmm. Maybe I can make one of these or maybe both of these solitary. That's possible. So maybe both of these could be solitary. I mean, how big is this? This is... Eight. So if I did one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, that's not going to work, is it? Um, you're, uh, if you're one thin, it would be perfect, but you're not, are you? And you're going to be the same then, aren't you? You're going to be eight. Okay. So I can't really use you as solitary either. Um... So where are we going to put our solitary cells then? Maybe in one of these? I mean, you're eight as well though, aren't you? Unless I just give them smaller solitary, I suppose. I can do that, can't I? Hopefully they're going to be getting in less trouble. So three and three. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, we can do that. So we'll get this built up as well. And then this will be one of our solitary blocks. We'll have two of those. And again, we will put a large jail door in here. And another one at the end here. So we'll get that built up. We need to get these offices laid out as well. So we can hire the... People that are going to help us build the extra room. So we want another couple or a office. So one here, one here, one here. Then we're going to want objects. On a computer in each one. We want a chair in each one. Like so. And we want a filing cabinet in each one as well. Another thing which I haven't done, which I might put in... They fit nicely in these common rooms, actually. Yeah, maybe they would fit nicely in this common room. I'm thinking just a couple of um, psychologist offices. I can do, was it, one, two, three, four, five? So I can do like this, and one, two, three, four, five, like this. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that'll be another one out. Okay. So these can be common room and common room. And then these two can just be offices for the psychologist. That seems like a good idea. Okay, so the offices are built. So we now need a foreman. 
a chief, and a psychologist. There we go. That's those rooms done. Um, let's, before we forget, get five doctors in. And then we'll also get... Oh, no. Let's just get ten janitors and ten gardeners in for now as well. And then we'll get ten cooks in as well. Okay, we'll get eleven cooks in. So that should get all them sorted now. Okay. So rooms, we now should have access to them all. We do have access to them all. Good. So we want um, cleaning cupboard first. Where's cleaning cupboard? I've got this mod that makes this supposed to be a bit easier to find everything, but I'm still um, getting used to the look of some of the stuff, to be honest. Cleaning cupboard, there it is. Okay, so we're going to have a cleaning cupboard here. And another cleaning cupboard down this end here. Like so. Uh, this here is going to be a massive shop because luxuries is a big thing. Uh, we're going to have a mail room where all the mails are going to go. We're going to have a library. We're going to have a laundry room. Maybe two laundry rooms, I think, is going to be the case, isn't it? What, another laundry room here? Yeah, let's do another laundry room here. And then, is there anything else missing that they're going to need? Ah, workshop. Okay. Maybe not that. Well, maybe we'll put the laundry room there. And then the workshop can be in this one, which is bigger. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case, isn't it? So let's get the workshop in here. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That gets that all sorted. Now we just obviously need to set the rooms up. So we've got two laundry rooms here next to each other, which is a bit pointless, isn't it? So maybe... Hmm. Maybe we do change that then, don't we? Um, what can this be instead then? What do we need instead of a laundry room? Let's have a big common room. We'll just make this into a gym. Yeah, let's do a common room. And I'll make it into a gym. So we're going to do objects. And we're just going to spread a load of um, weight benches around. Just make this into a gym. I said we don't have to actually. We can just do gym here. And then we'll put some pool tables down behind it. Um, like this. And then... So the Minsec do get things... I wouldn't say nice, but they're going to get things better than the other security levels. I mean, Medium will get access to a lot of this stuff. Then Max is going to get access to less and less and less. Snitch Sorter, that's the item we want. We want a Snitch Sorter... Essentially as many places as possible. So we're going to want one here. We're going to want one here. And we're going to want one here. Actually, put it there. Does it rotate? It doesn't. Okay. So we don't want that one. So that should hopefully now sort anybody that comes in into the relevant class of where they should be. Right. Into laundry then. So your laundry, I want utilities. Because this is going to take a lot of power in here. So we're going to run our own power system for the laundry room. And our own water pump as well. Um, the water pump will actually do the whole of this area anyway, but the laundry does need a big amount of power because it is going to need a big amount of laundry machines, which we're going to put along this wall here, like so. Then we're going to have a lot of ironing boards laid out. Well, obviously they're going to do the ironing. Got to iron everyone's uniforms, aren't they? Um, all the way along here. And we'll put some more up here as well. Uh, and along here. And then we want some laundry baskets. Which we're going to put all the way down this wall here. There we go. Next is the library. So in the library we're going to want some sorting desks. And we've got to make sure they're the right around. Which I think is that way. One thing this game does need to implement is an arrow showing you which direction something is usable in. Oh, that fits perfectly. That really does fit perfectly. And then we want library shelves. That is library shelf, isn't it? Yep. And let's just put them all the way along this wall. And that also fits absolutely perfectly. So they've got a nice big library in here. A lot of people can work in here, keep them very occupied. And um, put some nice books up on the shelf. You know, why not? Uh, like that. Get along here. Oh, this is going to be a massive. I've never built things on this scale before in this game, to be honest. I've always had things a little bit smaller than this. 
I don't know if they'll be able to use this because it's against the wall, but hopefully they will be able to. Massive, massive shop. Okay, so the shop, we're going to have several shop fronts. So what's that? That's two, three, four. I don't know. This doesn't need to be perfect, does it, really? But Because especially you're one away anyway. Uh, is that right? I said it doesn't need to be perfect, and now I'm making it perfect, you know. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's not right. That's four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you can go there as well. Now, uh, we need doors in this. There's no doors, is there? Uh, there's a door on that side. We also need a door probably in this side as well, then. Okay, and then... So, we've got the shop front. We need a couple of tables where... The stock is going to be placed before it's put on the shelves. Um, so we'll bring the tables down this way. And then we're going to have shop shelves. Make a massive supermarket, essentially, aren't we? Um, there's a gap there, isn't there? There's a freaking gap. Possibly I can just... I'll tell you what, actually, let's do this a different way. Let's do this long ways, because this is... Um, Probably going to be too crazy having it all across that because it's going to take them ages to get everywhere, isn't it? So if I did it this way, and did like that, and then like that, and I'll just copy and paste them across when they come through. Uh, mail room. So again, we can do the same as what we had earlier on. So we have the. So that's the. Okay, so. That's the correct way, I think. I think it is, anyway. And then we'll put another one, another set down this side as well. With another door. And then we want to put tables in the middle so they can get all the mail. Again, we'll do it long ways. Okay, if I didn't put that gap, it would actually fit quite nicely. Like that, okay. Okay, I'll come back and copy and paste these, I think, when they're done as well. Because that's going to normally try and do it all the time. Uh, and then again, I think we'll put another power set in here. Because this takes a lot to run as well. We don't want to go too mad in the workshop, but it is always useful to have. Uh, we don't need any um, water in this place, do we, really? But Okay, you can run. Let's have you run this room as well, then. Hopefully that should be enough. And then we want to put in here... Uh, we need some tables for the raw materials to go onto. Like this. And then we want to put some... Um, some presses along here. Let's put two rows of presses along here. Let's also quick save. Why not? What are we looking like time-wise at this point in time? Anyway, I'm, I'm aware I'm taking a lot longer on this than I expected to. Uh, we've got about five minutes left anyway, so put that down there. We will have our workshop saws along here. I'm uh, hoping this power can sustain this amount of machinery. Uh, I'm not... Mm, I'm hoping it can. And then we'll have some carpentry benches along here as well. Like so, okay. And that's that sort of... I'm hoping the power can sustain all of that. I'm hoping. Quick build. We're going to clone our tables because I'm too lazy to build them properly. But then why should I build them properly when you can just do it like that? And also shop shelves. Again, why build them properly when you can build them this easily? There's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be a hundred people working in this room, surely. And it's going to be a lot of stock on the shelves for people to buy as well, which is going to be nice. Should keep the luxury um, worry sorted. I can't fit anything else in there, can I? Um, so I'm going to just do my own last set of shop shelves, I suppose. Um, down here. And I think that's all those rooms sorted now then. So the library's sorted. Uh, we need water in here, don't we, really? So... 
Let's get the water run down and around and along here. Then we're going to have the small pipes to run it. How is this power looking? This power is barely being used on those wash... Uh, because the power's not hooked up to those machines yet either. Okay, that would help if it actually did that, wouldn't it? So we're going to run this power down, then I'm going to see how much power that's using, and then we might be able to use that power to power a few more rooms. But at the moment, I'm feeling pretty happy at the moment with what we've got. We're looking at a very good position. If we can just get our protective custody wing sorted, then we should be able to get some people in very, very soon. So we get all that done. So the mail room is up and running. The shops are getting sorted. We want to get this. Oh, they're back to front. Ah. Let's dismantle these. So we want the... Yeah, the stamp needs to be facing... Okay, the ink pad needs to be facing outwards. I see, I see, I see. Okay, let's get those dismantled. But then the mailroom one's right. I have, haven't I? Yeah, the mailroom ones are okay. It's just this one that's wrong. Okay. Okay, so this is a pretty decent position to be in, I think. We have a very relatively healthy-looking prison. We can get some more people in here as well. Um, protective custody, we are almost looking sorted on. We want to get ourselves some cells built, don't we? So let's build a couple of cells on each side that we can then copy and paste down the whole building. It's pretty quick and simple once you've done a couple of each. And then we wanted... Right, let me do this correct then. So I want a bed. So I want the bed to sit there. And then I want a... Drain, 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 drain. And then a shower head above the drain. You've got to put the drain down before the shower head, otherwise the game goes funky on you. And then we want a toilet by the headboard. So you have to smell your own crap every time you want to go and do anything. And then we're going to have a jail door here, 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 and here. And then that should be that area sorted. And then we are looking pretty good once these guys get the power sorted. Uh, the sorting desks have now been dismantled so I can rebuild them correctly, hopefully, this time. So the stamp needs to be... Okay, so this is the correct way. That's the correct way, then, apparently. So we get those built in as well. The shop is absolutely packed full of stock. The library is packed full of books. The laundry room is still not powering. We need to remove this as a laundry room. It doesn't need to be a laundry room, does it? There we go. I want to see how much power is being used once these are plugged in. If there's not a lot of power used, we can use this to power these rooms as well, which would be nice. Um, but they still haven't actually built that. What? What's happened here? Have I... Have I cancelled that job? Or have I cancelled... Oh no, they just haven't built that one water pipe yet. That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, so that's the water source. It's just electric down here now. So how are we looking like electric-wise? We've got four more little bits to fit. Guy's bringing the cable around now. Oh no, we didn't have any of it fitted. Now we've got five more bits to fit. Someone can come do that job, that'd be fantastic. So the workshop is up and running, and the power's looking okay, actually. We've still got quite a bit of power there. That's nice. Okay, well, let's use you to power the shop, then. Might as well get you power in the shop, and then we'll run another cable through the middle, just in case. And we know we don't need it, but we'll do that just in case. Okay. Um, you have also got enough power. So let's have you power... This area here, of course, we don't want to mix the two sets together, so we'll run you down here as well, and again up here because I don't want to run you into whatever I'm going to use to power the uh, the kitchen or the canteen even. So we'll run you through there as well, and there we go. That should be Minsec now ready to go. We need some power around the outside of the building, don't we? Because it's all darkness around there. Okay, so this is nearly built. We want to put down some cells. Like that, and like that, like that, and like that. Um, and then, I think we're sorted over here as well. So obviously we want to get the... Okay, we need to get a wall built down here, don't we? Because it's deleted the wall. Okay, so concrete wall down here. To the back here. And the same along here. 
to here. Okay. Then we're going to want a couple of staff doors through this back bit into protective custody's kitchen. Like that. Okay. Oh, freaking K. Okay. And one other thing I'm going to do quickly. This is a bit pointless, I know, but I try not to do it. I'm going to run some concrete tiles down here to make it quicker to walk. All the way down to the end. Uh, like that. Right, okay, so... We're in a pretty good place. I reckon we can take some Minsec prisoners in next time. I really do. So I think we can do that, and then in the process of that happening, we've got four... Okay, yeah, this can be protective custody. So let's just do the deployment quickly before we leave, just so I don't forget. So Minsec is going to be all of this area. All of these, all of these... Uh, this is Minsec, so is this. All you are Minsec as well. All of this area. And you and you. And this bit around the outside is going to be staff only. Okay. Oh, and all of this is Minsec as well. Okay, so Minsec. Um, these will be Minsec as well, I suppose. And I suppose the morgue is a min-sec as well. There we go. And then obviously the staff room is going to be staff only as well. Okay, so that is our min-sec area set and ready to go. We've got staff. We've got everything we need. We haven't got any kitchen yet. Okay, so I need to do that. Uh, what time we got left? We're at 31 minutes. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back next time. We have had a power issue. I'll sort this power issue out. We'll come back next time. And we will... What have I done? I've connected these two just together, haven't I? There we go. Just disconnect that. And um, we'll come back next time and we will sort out protective custody and we'll take our first intake in as well. If you have enjoyed this one, please do hit like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.